Thanks for swinging by our YouTube channel. My name is Christian Posta, and I've been working on contributing to Istio over the last three years, and I now work for Solo.io. And in these videos, we're going to take a look at some of the details of Istio's 1.6 certificate handling and rotation. So the first thing that we want to do is set the context. So Istio out of the box when you install it will automatically create a root CA certificate and key and use that to sign workload leaf certificates. And by default, it stores the root in a config map in each namespace. So if we get the config maps, we can see Istio CA root cert. Take a look at it in YAML. And we can see the, the certificate is stored here. When we look at the workloads and we explore their certificates, we can see that their leaf certificates are signed by this root. So we can come over here. Let's go use K9's, our favorite console for Kubernetes. You see we have a couple of workloads running here. Sleep pod, which can talk to the HTTP bin pod. And Istio is currently deployed with mutual TLS. So if we do kubectl get peer patient, we should see strict mutual TLS. So, but if we go to the workloads and let's, let's shell into one of these workloads, go to the Istio proxy. If we do a curl on the proxy itself and hit the certs endpoint. So this is, this is pure Envoy. You go to the Envoy documentation and see the different paths you can hit for querying the configuration that the proxy has. We can see, we can see if we come back up here, our root CA, so you can see all the certificates in the chain and so forth. But our root CA defined here should match with the, let's see, we did that. All right, let's do this recent path. I think it is data root cert. Let's try that. All right, and let's let's inspect this using our very handy step tool for managing certificates. Uh, inspect. We can take a look at the certificate, take a look at its serial number, and FAC6, something or other. And that's what we see here, FAC6. So this is the root certificates line up between what was automatically created by Istio on Bootstrap and the certificates that get signed by the certificate authority or in Istio 1.6, let's go here, if we do kubectl get pod in Istio system, is the certificate authority is running in Istio D. And when the workloads come up, they request a, uh, a certificate, and then the Istio D signs this certificate and is signed with the, the root CA. Another interesting thing that we can show you here is that the the uh, the leaf certificates are uh, created and they're available or the, or they're valid for 24 hour period by default and so this can be changed with uh, environment variables um, but by default when we do this. Uh, request to sign a certificate, it does it for 24 hours. So in the next video, what we're going to look at is 
what happens when you start rotating certificates, specifically the CA that Istio uses to sign certificates. What we're interested in is rotating in such a way that we don't introduce downtime specifically to the workloads that are using these certificates to establish identity and mutual TLS. So stay tuned to the next video.